Good afternoon. Can you hear me from the back? Good. Okay. Hi. So my name is Robert Reyes. You may call me Bob. I'm from Manila, Philippines. So I'm here to talk about mixed reality for the web. So uh, this is how I normally introduce myself. I wear several hats, especially in Manila. But for Mozilla, I represent them here. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Oh. Okay. One more. La la la. Okay. Uh, not on there. Okay. Okay. So there. So I wear several hats. I, I do IT stuff for my own company. I write for a newspaper, but I represent Mozilla since 2011 in the Philippines. Uh, many of you know what Mozilla is, but in the Philippines, when we ask people, do you know Mozilla? Most of the time, they will tell me, yes, we know Firefox. And as we know, Mozilla and Firefox, they are related, but they're not the same. They're, one, they're not one and the same. Okay, so this is how we normally tell people, so this is Mozilla, we came from Netscape, and so on and so forth. Okay. We, we operate as a global nonprofit, and as a global nonprofit, we have a mission. Our manifesto states that we are here to ensure that the internet will remain as a global public resource that is free and open so that uh, everyone will have access to the internet. We are best known for this, Firefox. That's why in Manila, when we ask people, you know Mozilla? No, but we know Firefox. Many of my friends switched to the other browsers before because the common complaint then was Firefox was too slow. It eats up a lot of memory. If you haven't tried Firefox lately, I suggest that you try it later. Okay, you download it, try the latest version of Firefox, and see for yourself if it's still slow and it, it still uh, still eats a lot of memory. We are always in the forefront of technology, especially for the web. We've been fighting many stuff, and one of them is the standardization of HTML. We are also working on some stuff that are related to VR. That's why we have MOS VR. So for this afternoon, I'll be talking about web VR and how people, developers, and ordinary citizens will be able to make use and create content for it. So Mozilla did VR technologies and standards on the web. Here you go. So what is web VR? Web VR is a set of technologies that aims to bring uh, virtual reality onto the open web. So it's a set of virtual reality tools, standards, and experiences. So WebVR is open source, just like what most of uh, Mozilla's uh, products and projects are. Okay. Uh, it uses a uh, JavaScript API for creating VR experiences in browsers and headsets. Web VR APIs work in, con uh, in conjunction with WebGL, Web Audio, and GamePad APIs. So basically, all of those stuff, all of the hardware that we use for VR will work with Web VR. It's currently available on Firefox, Microsoft Edge, Chrome 56 Plus on Android, and Samsung Internet Browser for gear. VR. Major takeaway for web VR is that it's open, connected, and it's instant. More information about the browser APIs for web VR can be found via the W3C uh, GitHub page. Web VR enables developers to translate position and movement information from displays into movement around a 3D scene. So, why are we venturing into web VR? We saw that the content for virtual reality now is not that many. Why so? Most of the developers that we know are actually web developers. Some of them may be app developers. But how many do you know that are actual virtual reality developers? Quite a few. In the Philippines, I can count them with my two hands. So we have this idea, why not convert these web developers into VR content creators? They know the technology of the web. 
now let's give them tools so that they will be able to create VR content onto the web for the web for the web okay so to check if you're if you're if the browser that you're using is already supporting web VR you can go to that website is webvrready.org you should see something if it, if that if doesn't display anything it means that your web browser is quite updated up unupdated and you need to use latest one will web VR be a standard definitely it will be okay so it's an open collaboration between multiple stakeholders okay oh. yeah developers can use web VR now to create VR experiences in different browsers that I mentioned earlier web VR is also in github you can play with samples later I'll be uh, showing some uh, samples that uh, uses web VR for Mozilla we have this framework it's called a frame if you've been following news about virtual reality mixed reality AR for the web chances are that you already have heard about a frame so what is a frame a frame is an open source web VR framework okay, for creating VR experiences with HTML as I mentioned earlier we know many people do web stuff this is the time to convert these people to create VR content so with a frame you can build VR scenes that work across different platforms desktop smartphone and even VR devices Even kids can create their own content if they know how to create HTML pages. Okay. So a great way to try uh, A-Frame is to remix uh, starter packs or starter projects. As an alternative, you can hard code stuff using A-Frame. So this is an example. I, when, when I go to schools in the Philippines, I normally have this. So it's HTML. Inserting some code like this will give you. I have to switch to my browser. This. Okay. With those little code, I will be able to produce this as on an HTML page. So, what is that? That's already a space that I can play around and how simple was that it's HTML inserted a frame the framework and then coded some uh, elements to the HTML page and I was able to create this particular scene okay so that's at, for for people who are not For people who are not into design, for people who do not have background in architecture, they often say creating content for virtual reality is very hard. Sometimes I, 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 I concur with them. Okay? But given the proper tools, given the proper knowledge on how to create VR content, especially if you already know how to create websites, if you know how to create web apps, it's easier than you think. So what are the features of A-Frame? It's very simple. Just with the example that I've shown you, in a single page, you will be able to create a, a 3D space from within your web page. It's cross-platform. You don't need an actual device to run an A-Frame page or a page that runs on A-Frame, okay? So it doesn't have, uh, if, if you don't have headset or controllers, no problem. If you have them, better. But if you don't have it, you have a smartphone or a desktop or a laptop, A-Frame will work on it for as long as you have an internet browser. So it's an entity component architecture. So developers have lim unlimited access to JavaScript, to DOM, API, 3JS, WebVR, and WebGL. 
For performance, later I have a video sample here. Even older devices, for as long as they are able to connect to the internet and have web browsers, you will be able to run a frame content. School of Gnostic. When, it, when we go to schools in the Philippines, students will often ask us, what software are we going to use to code a frame or web VR? It's up to you. If you want to use Notepad, not even Notepad++, plus plus, so be it. Okay, so it's tool agnostic. If you are developing for the web and you are familiar with these frameworks, all of them can work with a frame seamlessly. So some examples. One. those controllers, now you're awake. <laughs> Can I control the volume from here? Okay, so if you have one of those controllers, actually that's an example of something made using A-Frame that makes use of those controllers in a VR headset. Okay, Whatever the person, the human being does, the character on the bigger screen follows. What else? Uh, this one I, have, I will have to load on my browser, but yeah, the connection will Later. So, the links in the A-Frame website will basically lead you to the different samples created using A-Frame. As I mentioned earlier, all of them are open source. Students in Manila, they love it. Why? They can simply copy and paste the code, play with it, and create their own. For me, I also taught in a, in a university, the best type of teaching kids how to code is by showing them code, actual code, and let them play with it. It will spark their curiosity on what will happen if I'm going to change this code. We are not worried about them breaking the code. This is HTML. Okay. So augmented reality with ARJS and A-Frame. If you have heard about AR.js or ARJS, Okay, so it's an uh, efficient augmented reality solution on the web. It runs 100% in your browser because it's JavaScript. Okay, no need for a specific device like Google Tando phone or an iPhone. Any device, or as long as you have an internet browser or web browser, will do. It runs on mobile platforms like Android, iOS, and even Windows Mobile, if you still have those kind of devices. You can even use it on your own phone. Just like A-Frame, so we have to insert the framework onto our HTML page, onto our HTML code. So A-Frame is there, okay. Uh, ARJS is on the third watch of code, and then you can draw from within your HTML page. What uh, will it bring on? Something like this. Based on experience in Manila, if you will teach people how to do content for VR, one problem that they will tell you is that it's hard to create content. Second is that we don't have the specific or the proper hardware to do VR. With, this, with that example, it's actually a two-year-old uh, two plus plus phone, okay, running on an internet on a web browser, and it will be able to do AR stuff. That's awesome enough, especially for a country like mine, okay, wherein not all people are able to buy the latest handset models. Okay. So, where were we getting at? Okay. So as I mentioned, we want to convert the web developers into VR content creators. We know a lot are doing web stuff, but we know we only know a few who's doing VR content. And 
we see that the VR, uh, the VR scene will be the future. Okay, more and more companies are tapping into VR. In the in my country, if you know our flag carrier, Philippine Airlines, they are beginning to train their crew, their cabin crew, using VR. Okay, they tap one of the one of the startup VR companies in the Philippines to do the VR content for them to train their crew using virtual reality. Okay, so. Uh, I just borrowed this photo from my colleague. Okay, so what's up? What, what's the future of the open web? Basically, we need people. People who will help us one spread the word about this. That we have tools readily available for free. If you know how to do web stuff, it will be easy for you to do this. Why? The learning curve is very, very. Okay. What else? For more info, you can go to webvr.info. Or the best place would be the Mozilla Developer Network, developer.mozilla.org. So it's like the repository of all the geeky stuff on the web, especially if you're a web developer. And yeah, basically that's it. If you have questions, I will try to answer them. If not, I will. Try to answer them later on. I guess we'll contact the email. Yes. Yeah. Is there any commercial use of the VR? Commercial use. Um, well, VR itself is freely available for all. If you know or if your company is using, say, uh, Unity, you will be able to develop content using a frame. Web VR. Unity they have the community and the commercial side. So if you're using, if you are already a, a Unity developer, you will be able to tap web VR to content, VR content. That's possible. But any content which is developed by the Unity platform can be integrated with VR? I'm not sure, but from what I know, if you develop something in Unity, there is an add-on to convert it. But I, I will have to check if all created in Unity. But some of the the what do you call this the, the planes, not the, the not the airplanes, the 3D planes that create that was created using Unity, you will be able to transform them into HTML from within the app. That one I have already tried. But for the entire thing, say you created a game in Unity and we want to transform it into a VR game, I haven't done it yet. Anyone else? Yeah. Can you specific requirements for the hardware? Come again? Can you specific requirements for the hardware that it should be fixed? No specific requirement for as long as it is able to connect to the internet. A web browser like Firefox for mobile or for Android runs on it, the latest version, and basically that's it. Uh, I mean, let's say I have like a sensor board that I want to transfer data to the browser. Come again, sorry. Let's say I have a sensor board or something which I'm wearing on my body. If I want to, let's say, move the, the VR object. If you have a yeah. sensor? I have some kind of sensor board okay. on my body. Okay. And I would like to transmit the information from the board to the browser. The interface there will be from your device to a website or to a web. Yeah. Yeah, it should work. So, I mean, does it like go directly, or does it have to go through the cloud, and then? Of course, it will have to go to the cloud. If it is, uh, it depends on how uh, how how connected your your device is. Okay. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. With that, thank you very much. Maraming salamat po.